Hey you. Yes you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell game store. Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and we are back with another video. Now, obviously it's been a while. I start off a lot of my videos with it's been a while, but just a little bit of an explanation. There hasn't been too much going on in Brawl. Um, we've kind of been just waiting for this update to come around. Things have been pretty stale. Power League, you know, we have like 15 days until the new season. So the very top, like the Masters and the Legendary ranks of Power Leagues, there's just no games to be played because nobody's playing. There's just not too much to do. And because of that, I don't want to give you guys any, you know, like half type of content, you know, content you guys won't like or content you guys wouldn't enjoy. I like to give you guys good videos. And today we have another one. We have the 10 worst brawlers in Brawl Stars. All 10 of these brawlers are basically good for nothing. Maybe they're good for like one thing maybe in the game. But besides that, they're literally good for nothing. So that being said, we are going to hop onto the list. But before we do that, there is a game that I really want to show you. So let's show you guys what that is and then get on in on this list. In Castlecraft, the real-time strategy PvP game, it is your skills that decide the outcome of a battle. Form different types of armies by deploying commanders and units to catch opposing armies off guard. If you play now, you guys will get a bunch of stuff in your mailbox, such as ruby, gold, an epic card, an expedition box, and commander Elaine. Show your strategic skills by countering your opponent's moves with your diverse and dynamic gameplay. You can do this by choosing different units and commanders with different mechanisms to win. Don't forget to scout the enemy base. You can always be doing new attacks. Don't just copy paste your attacks and do the same one on everyone. Scout your opponent's base, find the weakness, and deploy the strategy that you guys think will give you the best chance of winning. Constantly be creative. Use different commanders and units in different patterns and strategies to try and be the most diverse and try and create a new meta because things are always changing in this game. Try your best to rise to the top because there are going to be rewards given to the very best to the people that can conquer everyone and rise to the top. And don't forget, last but not least, make sure you join a guild. Playing with other players is extremely important as it can help you out but you can also share different strategies and learn a lot of things by just joining a guild. It makes the game so much better, so make sure you guys don't forget to do that. So coming in at number 10, we have Colette. Now, a lot of these brawlers on the list, they have not been changed or buffed. I don't think any of them have been buffed in the recent balance change. So we're going to be starting at number 10. This obviously isn't the worst brawler in the game. This is the 10th worst brawler in the game. Then we're going to move on to 9th worst and so on. So we're going to have Colette. Now, a brawler like Bull, which is really, really good in just two modes, even that will not make it on the list. Bull basically runs Heist, and then is also pretty good in Siege when it comes to defending the bot if you want to run a triple tank comp, something like that. So, it's not going to be on the list. There are a lot of brawlers that are basically useless in Brawl Stars, and one of them is going to be Colette. Now, Colette is basically the 10th most useless, so it has some use, obviously. It's really good into tanks and it's really good on heist it's been meta on heist for quite a while now it's kind of fallen off since range has become more meta rather than tanks in heist you see a lot of brocks a lot of rico some griff and obviously colette won't do as well into that as it would versus triple tanks now this game obviously is going really well because we're facing three tanks but colette is going to be number 10 because she is not good anywhere else besides heist and she is only good in heist when she is played into tanks. We definitely need a buff for Colette. I'm not too sure what I'd want. Maybe a tiny bit of a range nerf. You guys didn't see that super, by the way. Maybe a tiny, or not a range nerf, a tiny bit of a range buff would help. I don't think she needs more damage because that would be way too unnecessary. I don't think she needs any HP or something. Just maybe a little bit of a range buff, like half a tile or something could help a lot. That being said, let's move on to number nine and let's keep going. So moving on to spot number nine is Jesse. So Jesse, Although it isn't like Colette where it's only good on one mode or only good into one type of comp, it's pretty limited and there's really no reason ever to take Jesse. Now, I don't know how, but somehow we're also facing another Jesse. Um, so that's kind of a coincidence, but Jesse, I don't know. It's just not that strong in the meta right now. There's nothing really that's too appealing about Jesse. It's never used in gem, really. It's never used in bounty, never used in siege. 
never used, well, it's kind of used sometimes in Brawl Ball, and it can be used on some heist maps, although you don't really see it too often. I don't know, it's just not that good of a brawler. There's really no reason to use it over a Brock or over a tank or just over anything in mid in gem. There's just, at the moment, basically no reason for Jesse. Now, if you throw your turret on top of someone and use your stun gadget or whatever it is, slow gadget, that's good enough to get you a kill, so Jesse isn't going to be completely useless and is going to be number 9 because of that. Because in any mode, no matter what, as long as you have a turret, you can basically guarantee yourself a kill. But it's not really meta anywhere. Even Colette somewhere has a meta, Jesse not really. So we're going to leave Jesse at number 9. And let's move on to number 8. So coming in at number 8, we have Lou. Now Lou is a pretty interesting brawler as sometimes it's really annoying and it can actually be used in a lot of different areas. But right now in the current meta, that is just not the case. Lou, it's just a pretty, it's a hard brawler to use. The shot is really difficult to hit. Obviously, a lot of you guys know that, which already makes it a difficult brawler. And it's just not really that strong right now. Now, the, Lou has always been good in Heist. Or not in Heist, sorry, in Siege. Definitely not Lou in Heist, guys. Don't play Lou in Heist, even though you guys see me playing it right now. It's always been good in Siege because of the super. The super basically just slows everyone down including the bot and doesn't allow you to attack it's like a spike or a sprout when it comes to defense it's a very good defending brawler in siege and it's pretty common there when it's meta but unfortunately right now it's not meta you don't get really much utility with your gadget you kind of just freeze people and try and chain your supers if you're good enough to hit the shots the other gadget's not that good the star powers you know aren't really that good so it's really this brawler is really centered around you hitting your shots and it is very 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 difficult to do so now, when it's not meta in Siege like it is right now, it's just going to be basically useless in the meta like it is right now. So it's going to be our number 8 Brawler. But we can easily see this Brawler move up in the list in just a little bit of time if it gets a small nerf. Because something ever so small can change any Brawler from being useless to being very good. So we're going to have to see what happens to it. But right now, it is going to be our 8th worst Brawler in the game. So coming in at number 7, we have Gale. 7 and 6 are going to be very similar when it comes to things that they are good at and things they are bad at, but number seven is going to be Gale. And Gale is actually a pretty good brawler in a, quite a couple different modes. Now, when I say pretty good, I mean it can be used. It's not just a completely 100% useless brawler. Into tanks, Gale is actually very good. You can't really do anything. Don't look at that super or my gadget, by the way. You can't really do anything as a tank into a Gale because Gale just slows you down. You guys can see the Sandy is slowed down. And then I just get my super and I blow them away. If I'm facing a Mortis or something, I could just put my Tornado down. Or if I'm using the other gadget, my jump down and just jump away. Gale's really good into tanks, but into basically every other brawler in the game outside of tanks. So every brawler but like six. Gale is completely useless and will lose the matchup. Now, you see me winning on ladder. Yes, it's ladder. When you have three pro players playing ladder, we're going to win basically every single game. But Gale is not good. Trust me, it's just, it's not that viable anywhere. People don't use it in Siege, really. Siege is like the only mode where you can use it. People don't use it in Heist. People don't use it in Bounty. People don't use it in Gem. The only other mode maybe you can use it in is Brawl Ball, but people don't even really use it in Brawl Ball. It's just not a good brawler right now. It definitely needs a buff, but the reason it's going to be number six is because you can use it in any mode, and as long as you face tanks, you can win. So it's going to be our number seven. Let's move on to number six and show you guys what it is. So coming in at number six, we have Shelly. Now, Shelly is a really good brawler. Also, into the five or six tanks that it could face. Basically, outside of that, it is useless. It's not good into anything else. Um, it's basically the same talking points I had as Gale. In any mode, you can really win with Shelly as long as you're facing tanks. But outside of facing those you know, very small pool of brawlers. You're not going to win the game in any other mode with Shelly. Really no reason for why I gave Shelly 6 and Gale 7. It's literally the exact, exact, exact same thing. Um, I just decided to give Shelly 6, I think, because it also has clay pigeons. And, you know, you can technically kill a ranged brawler with clay pigeons, I guess. You can super them and give them that slow stun if you have the star power. And then just spam your gadget and auto aim. You can actually do quite a lot of damage. Um, but Shelly's going to be our number 6. Don't want to talk about it for too long because it's basically the exact same as Gale. So let's move on to the top 5, or I should say bottom 5, top 5 worst brawlers in the game. Let's move on and show you guys what it is. So coming in at spot number 5, we have El Primo. Now this spot is a lot better than when Primo is meta. So by no means am I saying 
this Brawler should get a buff because it seems every time El Primo gets a buff and becomes meta immediately with a snap of a finger, everybody wants it to be nerfed again and I am in that circle because having Primo as a meta Brawler is the most annoying thing in the game. Now still with Primo, once you get your jump, you are very good. You can get a kill, but against what brawler do you get a jump like i just have to sit here and take damage again it's ladder so it's going to be really easy for three pro players to win on ladder but i'm just standing here getting my jump from them killing me in any normal game where everyone has the same amount of skill they're just going to score while charging my super because me charging my super is just me dying and charging their super but with primo the reason we're going to leave it at five is because once you get your super, it's basically an auto kill. If Primo's super was worse than it was, it might be the worst brawler in the game. But luckily for Primo, it's not that bad. It's basically a guaranteed kill. So we're going to make Primo number five for today. All right, so coming in at number four, we have Colt. And Colt is obviously a very high skill cap brawler that you actually can run in every single mode. Almost. Now, the issue with Colt is that it's a hard brawler to use for a very large percentage of the player base. Now, honestly, I think my viewers, I've done polls on this. We have a pretty high average amount of trophies when it comes to our viewers. So maybe some of you guys might disagree with this Colt pick, but it's one of the most high skill cap brawlers in the game. When you pop off on it, it is like no other brawler though. When you are hitting your clips, you are team wiping over and over and doing tons of damage to saves or scoring goals or anything. But when you're whiffing and it is not that hard to just easily whiff a bunch of your shots, you're useless, you're not that good. It's a hard brawler to use. Um, and I don't know, I get full clipped over there. I was kind of toxic, but um, it's a pretty hard brawler to use. It's not really meta anywhere. When it was meta, it's very good. When it had that 3k silver bullet, it was obviously godly. Maybe if they could buff the silver bullet a little bit or the gadget a little bit to where it can be useful. Colt can kind of return to some type of meta form, but right now it's only really good if you're just clipping and hitting all your shots, and you gotta be pretty good to do that. So that's why we're gonna leave Colt as number four. So let's move on to the top three worst brawlers in the game, and let's get on that. So coming in at number three and our third worst brawler in the game, I think no surprise for anyone here, we are going to have Carl. Now Carl was meta basically exactly a year ago, was a top three brawler in the game when Flying Hook was really good. Once they nerfed Flying Hook though, that basically wrapped it up for Carl and him being useful on any map in the game. There's just no reason to run Carl right now. I mean, I guess Flying Hook can be somewhat useful, maybe sometimes, but right now there's just no reason for using Carl anywhere. He's basically C tier in every single stat, every single mode, every single everything he's C tier. I wouldn't really expect him to be used anywhere for a while until we see a buff to something. When we see a buff to something, Carl can actually be a really good brawler. And I have no doubt in my mind that Carl could be a good brawler. A good example, again, was that flying hook meta. But as of right now, Carl is just not in that space and he is not a top five, top 10, top 15, top 30 brawler right now. In fact, he's a bottom three brawler. And this is going to be our number three. Let's move on to our top two and show you guys what it is. So coming in at number two, we have Mr. P. And again, let's not take three professional players playing ladder against you know three just random ladder players as a visual example of the games because with mr p against jackie poco and mortis that's an automatic loss 100 out of 100 games if you guys are the same skill level or if it's anything similar now again we're going to win this game we played 10 games using the 10 worst brawlers we never thought we were going to lose one time never came close to losing one time but there are so many brawlers where Mr. P just gets automatically hard countered. You basically automatically lose a game. How does a Mr. P kill a Mortis when a Mortis can just dash onto it and kill it, use bats to regen? How does a Mr. P kill a Jackie when the Jackie can just run up to it? Mr. P doesn't do enough damage. That's where the issue lies. A lot of strong brawlers can literally just walk up to Mr. P or run up to Mr. P. And Mr. P is only hitting them for 950 something a shot. I don't know exactly what the number is. So they can just run up to you and basically do whatever they want and kill you extremely easily. Now Mr. P is good into some brawlers, most notably Gene. So when you're facing a Gene, you know, Mr. P, or when you are Gene, sorry, Mr. P is very annoying to face because of the porters. And Mr. P can definitely be meta. We've seen it many times. But right now it is way too weak, which I like. But it is way too weak to be good into anything. And like half the brawlers in the game just automatically win against it. So it is going to be our second worst brawler in the game. But finally, we have our worst 
brawler in the game that just so happens to be my teammate's favorite brawler in the game. It is not good at anything. It has not been good at anything for a very long time. Let's show you what the worst brawler in the game is. So coming in at number one, we are going to have Penny. Now, Penny is basically useless. I don't know. Why, where would you ever really use a Penny? Now, the turret is obviously good. The turret has been good forever. Ever since the game has come out, or not the game has come out. I should say ever since Penny has come out. The turret has been very strong, and there's never a time where having a turret doesn't help. It's very good. It doesn't allow them to juke back. They basically have to walk in a straight line. It is a very annoying turret. But Penny is so bad. Just the brawler itself. It does no damage, has no HP, is basically mid-range. With Brock being meta, it can break turrets so easily. There's just no reason to ever use Penny right now. It's not getting buffed. I hope it doesn't get buffed because a turret brawler being meta is so annoying when there's just a turret in the back of the map that you can't do anything about. It is just so ridiculously annoying. But this is going to be our number one brawler. It's not good in any mode. I would never use it in any mode. I haven't played Penny for like five months before this game. It's just not a good brawler. Not even a fun brawler to play. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be our number one brawler which means it is going to be our worst brawler in the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Again, I'm sorry I haven't made videos that much as of late, but with the update coming, Power League starting up, we should have a lot of content to come up with. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, you already know what to do. I will be back as soon as I can, and I will see you guys then. Peace.